I'm going to show you some of the new options for your mobile workforce that are coming in ArcGIS Mobile 9.4. We have three devices we'd like to show you today. With the first two, we're going to look at how this technology could be used in a damage assessment scenario. Natural disasters like earthquakes occurring around the world can result in damage to buildings and other infrastructure. After emergency relief efforts are complete, humanitarian and development organizations need to look at repair and reconstruction. In the planning phase, field assessments of damage are required to determine what resources are needed where. In this example, we need to cover the hot spots in this heat map created from a previous analysis that predicts areas of damage. We've deployed six mobile teams into the area, and each team is assigned specific zones to inspect. Team two has driven to zone 19 to begin the assessment. One option for doing this mobile uh, data collection is sorry, excuse me. with ArcGIS Mobile's out-of-the-box application for handheld devices, such as the one that I've got here. This is a task-based user experience. It's ideal for mobile field workers who may not be GIS professionals. The project I'm working with is configured specifically for my job, and I can do things like search for the zone in which I'm working, and then go back and create a new damage record. Here I select the type of damage that I see, and I also choose my collection method. On the map, we see a few areas that have already been collected. This task-driven experience works well for many of you, and what you've asked us for is to replicate it on a device that can be mounted in a vehicle. At 9.4, you'll be able to use the same kind of out-of-the-box application on a tablet PC, such as this one. It has the same list of tasks as we just saw on the handheld device. By tapping Options and going into Settings, I can dynamically reskin this application for different light levels. For example, I'll choose nighttime. The larger user interface allows me to view a greater extent of data, and the touchscreen capability is easier for workers with gloved hands to use. So I'm simply tapping the map control to zoom in closer to the area in which we're working. By making use of my device's GPS capabilities, I can also see my current location, which is simulated here, displayed by the animated icon, so I'm always able to see where I am on the map. We finished our assessment of zone 19, and we moved on to our next assigned zone 20A. When we arrive there, I see an area of damage that I want to record, so I'm going to go back to my task list and choose the new damage record task. Again, I'll choose the appropriate feature type. I'm going to collect using the map, but I could also use the GPS. I tap to draw the feature and select the option to edit attributes so I can attach some more important information. I enter my team ID by selecting from a domain list, and I can also make notes by using the built-in keypad. Here again, we see how the touchscreen capability allows me to enter my note simply by tapping on the screen. I finish my, oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I can attach a picture, lastly, as an attribute of my feature. I'm going to browse for one that I've already got stored, but I could also take one live if this device has a camera. I finished my collection, so now I'd like to go back to my task list, and I want to synchronize to post those updates back to our operations headquarters. This way, the main office has increased situational awareness of the activities of all the mobile teams and can better coordinate future activities. From here, I can also tap Get Data, and I can pull down the most recent team locations across the entire city using ArcGIS Mobile's two-way communication with the server. I receive a call that Team 4 needs help with their assessment in a very heavily damaged area. So now that I have that location data, I can do a search for that specific team and be able to view their location on the map. Finally, making use of 9.4's integration with Arc Logistics Navigator, I can choose the menu option to find a route to this team. 
We're excited about expanding ArcGIS Mobile to tablet PCs and providing this new option for your mobile data collection. Thank you. Now I'd like, now I'd like to introduce Chris Capelli, who will show us our third device using ArcGIS Mobile. Chris? Thank you, Bonnie. Good morning, everybody. Bonnie just showed a great solution for supporting a professional workforce in the field. But your feedback has suggested to us that we need to support a different kind of mobile user. In the last two years, more than 21 million people, including myself, have purchased one of these, the Apple iPhone. So I'm especially pleased today to preview an application built just for the iPhone. So you can see what I'm doing. Let me grab a camera real quick. Thank you, Mike. OK, let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and start the application. And as you can see, I have it configured to automatically start up with the same ArcGIS Online street map that Rob Shanks and Christoph showed earlier. Now I'll go ahead and zoom in a little bit just to provide a little more detail on the map. Now one of the things I really enjoy about this new device is I like to use the built-in location services to quickly orient myself to the map. As you can see, it's put us pretty close to where our current position is inside the convention center. Now, one of the most powerful features of this new application is the ability to actually use your own maps or connect to somebody else's server to use their maps. So in this application, I have it configured to actually use two services from ArcGIS Online and a few other services from a local ArcGIS server. I'm going to go ahead and turn on the city-based map right now. And as you'll see, this map has tremendous amounts of detail. So what I can do is go ahead and zoom in. Let me change the base map. I can click on a building and get more information about it to allow our users to provide them with actionable intelligence. So if I go ahead and click on that, it's actually retrieving attributes right from the geo database on the server. So think about it this way. If I click on the phone number, the phone will automatically dial. If I click on the email, the email application will automatically start up as well. Now, one of the things, let me switch the base map to another base map here. So you can see a bit different details. Now, one of the things that I really like about this is I like the ability to contribute your own observations using this application. Last night, I actually went for a run, and I spotted some graffiti on a building over in this area of the town. So what I want to go ahead and do is enter in that observation and send it back to the city contribute it back to them so they can act on that. So I'll go ahead and type on a subject. I'll go ahead and now attach a photo that I took. And what I can do and what makes this very powerful is I can now share that information. So I can share it via email, I can send it via SMS message, or I can even sync it directly back to the server itself. So as you can see, this application provides some very powerful capabilities. I think it's going to provide some new opportunities for collaboration and for making our information of the GIS professional more available to not just the public, but also executives within the organization. So think about the possibilities. Your maps and your geographic knowledge reaching a potentially new audience. But don't forget about your managers and your executives within your own organizations. With this application, you can actually provide them with a different kind and a new kind of common operational picture back into your organization. Thank you.